We know that Donald Trump is having a serious money crunch. I mean, a very serious money problem. We know there's a big disparity between Donald Trump and Joe Biden when it comes to campaign fundraising. Joe's got a fair amount of money. Donald Trump doesn't have shit. On top of it, he has legal fees that continue to rise. He's already paid $50 million. And then he's got those fines from the court, close to $600 million that he has to put together quick, fast, and in a hurry. We also know that Donald Trump went hat in hand begging to big donors. I need some money. I need some money. We also know that he had a private meeting with Elon Musk, presumably the richest man in the world. Now, everybody's thinking to themselves, well, Elon Musk likes Donald Trump, so he'll bail him out. Well, then Elon Musk came out on Twitter or X or whatever the fuck you call it. And he said, let's just make this clear. I'm not giving any money to any candidate. And that's not surprising to me, because whether we're talking about Saudi Arabia, Russia, or Elon Musk, what's in it for them? Now, if Donald Trump was going to easily win the presidency, I would understand it, because then you could own a sitting U.S. president. But nothing is lining up for Donald Trump to become president. There really is no pathway for him to win the election in November. So the only other thing he could do is put up his properties. Well, all his properties are heavily leveraged, so there isn't much equity in them. Nobody with any common sense is going to borrow Donald Trump money, Elon Musk included. Donald Trump is just a day or two away of having to come up with $83 million, which he doesn't have. Two weeks from now, he's got to come up with more than a half a billion dollars. This is the point in time when things start to fall in on Donald Trump. He starts scrambling around like a chicken with his head cut off. There's nothing he can do. He can't get the money. Nobody's going to borrow it to him. And he's finding out what happens to a malignant narcissist who constantly hoodwinks, gaslights, and bullies people his entire life. It doesn't last forever. It comes to an end. And the end is here. And Donald Trump has no way to get out of this. It's going to be interesting to see how he reacts to it, but I guarantee you this, it's not going to be fucking pretty.